My name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on e-cigarettes vaping and the heart and talk to you about what we actually know about the effect of e-cigarettes and vaping on the heart. Um, the reason I've done this video is because there have been a number of reports in the news recently uh, warning people uh, about the risks of vaping. This is because uh, more recently across 33 states in America uh, there have been five reports of people dying and 450 reports of patients suffering uh, vaping related lung disease. Okay, um, and um, the government is now actively trying to dissuade people against vaping for the time being until they find out exactly what's gone on here and what the safety is of this. At the moment, it is felt that it is due to. Um, uh, something called vitamin E acetate, which is uh, an emulsifying agent, which is used to emulsify CBD and THC in unregulated um, and illegal vaporizers. Uh, but, you know, investigations are ongoing. In the meanwhile, I thought that, you know, I better do a video on the on what we know about vaping and the heart and the effects on the heart. Okay, So the first thing to say is that uh, e-cigarettes, um, came into the market first in China in 2003. Uh, very quickly they made it to the US and European markets in 2006. So they've only really been around for about 15 years, just, you know, uh, and therefore and the long-term safety of these devices is still not known. We don't have any research telling us that in the long term uh, people uh, don't come to any harm from this. Okay. Uh, another big problem with any research with this is that a lot of people who um, started vaping were actually previously cigarette, traditional cigarette smokers. And we know that the risks of cigarette smoking can stay even though you stop smoking. Uh, and therefore it's very difficult to tease out what effects are caused by the vaping and what effects may have been caused by the previous smoking. So these are the sort of problems with research in this field. You're dealing with a population which was high risk anyway because they were smokers and then you're trying to work out what this new thing, vaping or e-cigarettes, have. E-cigarettes are battery operated devices and basically they work by this device heats a liquid and the liquid usually contains nicotine uh, and thereby uh, when this uh, liquid is heated, a vapor is produced with the user inhales. Okay, the uh, vapor emulates but is not uh, tobacco smoke. Um, the, uh, there is no combustion going on, so the, pro the, the process simulates the experience of smoking but there's no combustion going on. And that's the difference between a traditional e-cigarette, a sort of traditional cigarette and an e-cigarette. Okay, the main ingredients in um, the e-cigarettes are this liquid which contains nicotine. Some are nicotine free, but mainly nicotine containing uh, liquid. In addition, there's something called propylene glycol, which I'll talk about, or glycerol, and there are flavorings. There have, however, been reports that other things have also been found, both in the liquid and in the vapors that are produced. These include things like um, chromium, nickel, manganese, lead, and even arsenic. So just something to be a little bit perturbed about because that's what people have found in these vapors. In terms of nicotine content, content the range of, um, you know, there are different uh, concentrations and when you go and you buy, you can ask for different concentrations, but the concentrations are in multiples of six milligrams per mil. So the nicotine free cigarettes have no nicotine in them uh, and the, the range is from zero to 36 although some places you can get even more of a nicotine content, but the liquid generally is up to 36 milligrams per mil. The potential risks um, of e-cigarettes and vaping are related uh, to the exposure to nicotine, as well as the components in the vapor and in the device. Um, much of what is known about nicotine is largely available from uh, studies in traditional cigarette smokers and therefore it's very difficult to tease out how much of it was due to the nicotine, how much of it was all due to all the combustion and the, um, the gases that were produced like carbon monoxide etc. However, there have been some studies where people have tried to study 
patients who chew nicotine gum to try and tease out what actually nicotine does. So if you do a study in someone who hasn't smoked but has been using nicotine gum, then what they find that what they found was that undoubtedly nicotine itself seems to increase the heart rate by 10 to 20 beats per minute and the blood pressure by 5 to 10 millimeters of mercury. In addition, what they found is that uh, nicotine can constrict some of the blood vessels and thereby reduce the amount of blood flow in uh, our arteries, such as like our heart arteries. Um, and there, is also, there are also some concerning uh, studies about the chronic effects of nicotine, mainly in animals. So there was a uh, study done on rabbits, cholesterol-fed rabbits, and what they found was that if they, if they were given nicotine, it seemed to increase the amount of hardening of their blood vessels. So it stimulated atheroma or atherosclerosis, the disease which eventually causes people to have heart attacks, etc. However, these were rabbit models, not humans. So one has to be a little bit cautious about extrapolating the information from that, but still a little bit concerning about the idea that nicotine could do this in an animal model in experiments. Um, with regards to vapour exposure, it's heartening to know that um, you know, e-cigarettes don't produce the same kind of combustion products that traditional cigarettes produce. So you don't get the tar, you don't get the carbon monoxide, you don't get the oxidant gases. And therefore it is felt that inhalation of e-cigarette vapour is probably not as uh, harmful to us as traditional cigarette smoke. However, e-cigarettes do contain a number of potentially toxic chemical substances. Um, e-cigarettes have also been associated now and have been implicated in a condition called idiopathic eosinophilic pneumonia. So they have been linked with this lung condition called eosinophilic pneumonia. So that's also a little bit of concern. We don't know much about uh, the overall safety of the other constituent of e-cigarettes, which is this thing called propylene glycol or glycerol. Um, what we do know is that high temperatures, this propylene glycol will decompose and form propylene oxide, and that is supposedly a carcinogen. Uh, we know that glycerol can produce a toxin called acrolein, and both propylene glycol and glycerol may decompose to form formaldehyde and acetaldehyde, and these are known carcinogens. However, these, um, the levels of these are generally much lower than those found in traditional cigarettes. Um, other carcinogenic compounds that have been found include um, in, in e-cigarettes have been include TSNAs, which are called tobacco-specific uh, nitrosamines, carbonyl compounds, metals, like I mentioned earlier, volatile compounds and phenolic compounds. Again, I don't know much about these, but these are all things that have been found, again, in much lower quantities than in traditional cigarettes. So in terms of long-term risk, e-cigarettes in general at the moment are thought to be at a, uh, of lower risk compared to traditional cigarette smoking, okay? They have an associated lower risk, but low risk does not mean safe. Uh, and we certainly know that e-cigarettes increase the amount of work our heart has to do. And there have been at least two large surveys where they've found that those people who do take e-cigarettes, who do smoke e-cigarettes, have a higher incidence of chronic cough, bronchitic symptoms, phlegm production, uh, etc. So the overall message is that the research so far indicates that e-cigarettes are probably not as harmful as traditional cigarettes. However, um, this does not automatically mean that they're safe and our thinking may change as more research accrues. Advice um, to people who vape is that, uh, you know, it's a good idea to try and get off traditional cigarettes, undoubtedly. Traditional cigarettes are horrible for our health. Um, and uh, if going and vaping and using e-cigarettes helps you, e-cigarettes helps you get off the traditional cigarettes, then that's a good thing. However, e-cigarettes should be used as a bridge rather than as a destination, which means that uh, once you've gotten off the traditional cigarettes, you should make an effort as quickly as possible to try and get off the e-cigarettes as well. Uh, we simply don't have enough evidence at the moment, but I am very suspicious that we will find that vaping actually also does us harm in the future and wherever possible it's best to avoid this because you know you don't want to find out 20 years down the line that this was what the cause was and that you could have with a little bit more effort come off it altogether. 
Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I would love to hear your comments. Uh, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everything. You know, thank you for putting up with my inconsistency in posting videos. Thank you for uh, the amateurish quality of my videos. Uh, you've gotten me to 105,000 subscribers, or all of you, all of you who leave messages that I never get the time to answer. I really appreciate it and I read every one of them. It's just I get so exhausted from my day job that I just don't get the time to answer everything and it is an ambition someday to be able to answer everyone. Uh, it just doesn't seem to happen in my day-to-day -day life but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. I appreciate everything you do. You add so much more to my life than I ever thought possible. So thank you so so much. Um, if you get a chance, please consider leaving a message and if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you find it useful, it would make my day if you did. Uh, similarly, if uh, you could share the videos with anyone who may benefit, then I would be so grateful. You're awesome. Thank you so much. All the best.